Let's solve this problem here where the box is being pulled with a force that's not horizontal. And let's set up the problem. Let, let's say that this force here is 100 newtons and it's being pulled at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Let's say that the box has a mass of 20 kilograms and let's assume that it's going at constant velocity. You know what constant velocity means? It means the velocity is not changing and therefore there is no acceleration. And we want to find the coefficient of friction between the ground and the bottom of the trunk. So what is that coefficient of friction? Excellent. Well, the first thing to do is to draw the free body diagram. And I'll do that here in black. Well, we know that we have the weight of the box going down. And that's just the force of gravity. And that's, um, we'll label it as W, but we know that that equals the mass times the acceleration of gravity. We have two vertical forces. We have this component here of from the 100 newtons. Well, that's the opposite leg of the triangle. And if you do a little trigonometry, if this hypotenuse is 100, 30 degree angle, this must be 50 newtons. So the pull on the trunk gives a 50 newtons in the vertical direction. And we also have a horizontal force from this guy. And that would be 87 newtons, the adjacent leg of this 30, 60, 90 triangle. Great. Well, we also have the normal force going upward, and that's the contact force between the ground and the bottom of the trunk. And don't forget, we have friction, which actually we have to draw equal and opposite to the 87. How do I know it's equal and opposite? Well, there's no acceleration, and therefore the 87 newtons to the right must be balanced by a frictional force of 87 newtons going the other way. Excellent. So, leaving off direction, we know the frictional force is mu k times the normal, which equals 87 newtons. And that's just by definition. This guy is equal to this by definition. And we just need to find the normal force, and then we can find the coefficient of kinetic friction. Well, how do I find the normal force? Well, let's apply Newton's laws, add up all the forces, that equals ma, and let's talk about the y direction here. Well, in the y direction, or the vertical direction, we have, looking at our free body diagram, we have the normal force going up, we have 50 Newtons going up, and then we have the weight going down, and since it's not accelerating in the vertical direction, the acceleration is zero, and therefore that whole side is zero. Well, we know the weight is mg, and if we plug in things, well, the mass is 20 kilograms, the acceleration of gravity on Earth, 10 meters per second squared, that equals 200 newtons. So let's plug that in here. So now I have the normal force plus 50 newtons, minus 200 newtons equals zero. You can do the algebra or you can just see that the normal force must equal 150 newtons. That would be the solution to this equation. Excellent. Well, let's plug that in here. So now I have, and I'll do it in red here, mu k times 150 newtons is equal to 87 newtons and dividing both sides by 150 newtons, I get, cancel, cancel, I get a mu k is equal to 87 newtons divided by 150 newtons, which if you plug this into your calculator is equal to 0 0.58 or 0 0.6 to 1 sig fig. Excellent. So now we know the kinetic friction, sorry, the coefficient of kinetic friction for this problem.